In this video, we're going to solve this particular problem which appeared in the year 2014. It's an advanced problem and it's a very interesting problem. Let's go ahead. So here is ask that for x belongs to 0 to pi, the equation sine x, sine 2x, sine 3x is equal to 3 has how many solutions? So that means we need to find out the uh, number of solution or we have to find out the number of x belongs to 0 to pi by pi such that the equation is satisfied. So let's go ahead and solve this one. So now to solve this particular equation, first we consider the given equation. Now say this, this equation is have 2x sine 3x terms and all that stuff. So therefore it is very easy, right? Or it is very convenient to convert everything in sine x terms so that 2x 3x term will be omitted. So that's why you use two basic formula. So first we use sine 2x and sine 3x. So sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x and sine 3x is 3 sine x minus 4 sine cube x. So let's substitute in the appropriate place. And now we just open the bracket and do the simple calculation. So therefore, we get that uh, sine x plus 4 sine x cos x and the remaining thing. Now see that here that sine x term is actually <clears throat> uh, constant, uh, is actually common to it every, each and every term. So that's why we divide both sides by sine. But here notice that we are able to do our we able to do the division by sine x because sine x is not equal to zero inside the interval zero to pi because zero and pi is an open interval it's not a closed interval so therefore if we divide both sides by sine x right the, we find that one plus four cos x minus three and so on now if we do the little bit of calculation right what is the calculation because see that we have one term is cos right so we easily convert right the other term in the left hand side that sine square x in the cos term so it will be one minus cos square x and then if we simplify it we get a left hand side equation with cos and the right hand side is a cosec term so you can continue with sine also that's not a problem so therefore the given equation as we get it as a cos equation and a uh, uh, cosec term now see that this equation solving it doesn't uh, looks very easy it's, it's difficult in, in such sense. So therefore, we have to use some conceptual analysis to solve this particular problem. Let's go ahead and solve this one. So now we get the equation. So here uh, we consider, right, that fx is the left-hand side function and gx is the right-hand side function. That means three coseconds. Now, here we have to use a conceptual understanding. It says that if, if x0 is a root of the equation 1, right, so then x0 must be the point of intersection of the graph fx and gx. So this is conceptually important. So therefore, what that says, it actually says the basic understanding of the solution of a, any equation in a graphical method so therefore here to solve this particular uh, solve this particular problem right we just go ahead and uh, consider a uh, straight line okay let's go ahead so here we just uh, arbitrarily draw a x axis we arbitrarily draw a y axis now here we have a uh, fx function right so we just uh, draw some some arbitrary function fx right whatever we can uh, draw now we have another function that is called gx. So let's uh, uh, draw another curve, which is gx. Now, wherever they intersect, right? So here, this is the point of intersection as you see in the screen. So at this point of intersection, and this is the point of intersection, right? Both the curve, fx and j, that the red and blue, right? So both curve have the same value. And that means at that particular point of intersection, right, the fx and gx must attain or must be equal. And that's why it will be the solution of the equation, right? So this technique is called graphical method. So therefore, we'll say that at this particular point, if x0 and gx0 uh, are equal, and then x0 will be the uh, root of that equation fx minus gx or fx equal to gx, or whatever you call. Let's go ahead. So here, this is the important concept. So now uh, we need to find out the uh, uh, try. We need to try to plot the graph of fx. 
to draw the graph of fx we just use completing the square technique to simplify the function fx so let's go ahead so see that if i take 4 minus 4 common it will be cos square x minus cos x now we need to write down in the form of a minus b whole square term so that's why we multi we write the middle term cos x as 2 cos x into half so b square is half and we do the uh, very simple calculation afterwards it's very simple now the first three terms will give us as cos x minus half whole square and uh, it will give you that 3 minus 4 ma into cos x minus half whole square so this technique we know it as a completing the square technique so now we we are able to understand little bit about the graph of fx so now we already uh, simplify the graph so that we can understand little bit now we are given in the interval or we are discussing in the interval 0 to pi so in this pi cos x is lies between minus 1 to plus 1 right cos 0 1 cos pi minus 1 and therefore cos x minus half whole square will be always lies between 0 to 1 right that's it so here cos x minus half whole square will be always lies between 0 to 1 and hence and hence we can say that right if we add uh, three both uh, if we multiply for uh, four both side or if we multiply my, my, by minus one the inequality sign will interchange so therefore it's implied that it lies between minus one to zero so therefore if i multiply by four and then add uh, respectively three we say is that the fx is lies between minus one to three so therefore this is the range of the function right so you already obtained the range of the function fx to find out the range of another function that is gx now here sin x is lies between 0 to 1 so cos x is always greater than or equal to 1 and that's why gx is greater than or equal to 3 so we obtain the range of fx and gx so therefore here we can conclude that right that fx and gx will will it is only possible to attain the same value so that that fx is equal to its zx0 right it is only possible only the fx0 zx0 is equal to 3 because this is the only possibilities because fx is less than equal to 3 gx is greater than equal to 3 so only the possibility is 3 now let's go ahead so therefore right we need to find now the x0 value so we just take fx0 equal to 3 and try to find out right the value of x0 let's proceed so here we consider fx0 equal to 3 so notice that right we only get fx0 equal to 3 or fx equal to 3 only when cos x minus half whole square is equal to cos x minus 1 whole square is equal to 0 because if this term is actually omitted right so then only the fx equal to 3 and this is only possible if cos x is equal to half so therefore when cos x is equal to half when or cos x0 equal to half when x0 equal to pi by 3 and now let's go go ahead now if gx is 0 equal to 3 that means that cosec x0 is equal to 1 and it is only possible when x0 equal to pi by 2 so observe that right it is impossible to find a particular x0 such that fx0 equal to 3 and gx0 equal to 3 in the interval 0 to pi so therefore right there are no such real x0 exists and hence the given equation doesn't have any solution hence the correct option of this particular problem is option d and that's it so hope you understood the problem so only one thing this particular problem we technically don't solve it as a normal uh, solving equation method here we use the graphical interpretation right for any curve right and using that conceptual understanding we solve that problem so that's why it's very interesting one hope you understood it thank you